Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my friends. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. And hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So everybody, thank you for joining me. Like I said, I was feeling called to do a collective reading here for, um, well, it's timeless, but at this time it is the full moon in Aquarius that we're moving up into, snuggling right up on into. So I'm uh, looking at things to release at this time. The full moon in Aquarius, especially with some specific aspects that are going on with some of the other planets, may or are is going to be bringing up uh, maybe a little bit of chaos, maybe um, a little bit of zazz, okay? So I did put together a reading spread where we're going to look at what is coming up for you, okay? What's being affected, um, what's being shaken up, what... Um, uh, what's no longer of value, anything that may be unexpected news. And I also put in the door and the key. So a threshold that you're working to cross or you're close to crossing and what is allowing you to get through that door. Okay. So I did not, uh, I mean, I did a little meditating prior getting ready for this reading, but I did not channel any messages prior or pulling Oracle cards. I was told just to do this all in flow okay so let's flow let's flow um as far as the full moon here though in aquarius this message of uh <laughs> like learning to let your freak flag fly or letting your freak flag fly is definitely something that is permeating the moment okay so releasing those things that are feeling like an encumbrance to you as far as your own authenticity or removing those things that are feeling judgmental towards you being who you are. Okay. Um, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Um, Spirit, do we want to start with any Oracle cards here? Yeah. Which deck? The archetypes. Okay. How many cards are we pulling here? Three. Okay. All right. All right. What do we have here, Spirit? Four collective here. Um, and this may be a message for everyone. It may be a message for only one of you. I do feel like this is a little bit more specific. Like I thought about doing a pick a pile here, pick your own adventure kind of thing, but I kept being pulled away from that. Instead of a wide net, we're looking at a more specific net right now for some reason so this could be a specific message for somebody uh that needs to hear it let's find out what do we have for collective what's going on what's going on what do they need to know at this time huge shout out to my channel members of course you guys hello hello thank you for your love and support if you're interested in becoming a member yourself, you can check that out. There's a link in the description of the video. There's also a button next to the subscribe, which you can also hit if you haven't already. I'd love to take you on this journey here with me. Let's take a journey, you guys. Personal readings are open and available too if you're interested. There's a link to my website in the description of the video. Okay. The empty room, that's been coming up so much. The healer, and it kind of came out in reverse, the shadow in reverse as well. Interesting. So um, I'll show you these here. The shadow and the healer in reverse and then the empty room. So definitely getting this vibe, especially with the empty room coming through here, there is a message of, um, or it's this pursuit of whatever. Um can be kind of an unceasing pursuit too. Like we're experiencing lack somewhere, uh, kind of like that unitchable scratch, filling that hole and never really being able to fully fill that hole, right? Um, it feels like there is a lot of potential, all of the potential, only potential maybe <laughs> for some of you in some situations. There is so much potential towards something in in particular you're already aware of or i mean outside of what you're currently paying attention to but that's not enough is what i'm getting from this um the healer in the shadow 
coming through here too. I you you may be a healer yourself. You may be going through this process of healing. Um, with the snakes here, I think about um, like a three headed three headed dragon, three headed reptilian creature. It can symbolize um, addiction. The three three heads to addiction. So there could be something going on, substance wise. You guys are trying to work through. It doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol or sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> um, it could just be the addictive quality to n never being enough. And that's kind of what I, I feel right now. It's um, We are talking about letting your freak flag fly. So definitely allowing authenticity, like I said, to come forward. But there is a note of too much of something. Um, with the shadow coming through here too, it just nails that message home for me, the shadow realm. It's not that everything there is bad, but, um, typically connected to the devil energy. So those things that keep us chained or stuck in this third dimensional realm, something is, something is preventing you from moving forward or healing a situation. And it seems to be excess like a, a drive or desire for more. Um, we'll get into this message a little bit further. I don't, I don't even necessarily feel like it's like, you just need more gratitude or <laughs> uh, take more gratitude walks or just like, that's, that's all um, important. I feel uh, very important. Okay. It should definitely is a good thing to add to your daily practice for sure. That component of gratitude, but this seems to be, Outside of that, um, I know collectively, universally, things are um, crunchy. A little crunchy, a little crunch, crunch. Um, this feels this feels like an attachment to the greater drive. That's what I'm hearing. Interesting. Like the collective cup. The collective cup is broken. Okay. Yes. <laughs> It sure is. How can, hmm, how can one drink if, if we all can't drink? Hmm? Okay. I mean, it definitely feels like we're exploring healing components of the shadow, things that are keeping us chained in fear, okay, or a lower vibration. All is one, one is all. I mean, that's definitely a concept that comes through here. God, that's an interesting one. Let's get some more information here. Any other Oracle cards? Two in the crows. Two in the crow. Urban crow Oracle here, please. For collective, what's going on? Protection, okay. What else here? <clears throat> resistance. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so protection and resistance come through here. Typically, um, I do feel, you know, there's always a message when this comes through, a reminder, you are protected, what you're doing. If there is fear right now in making changes or just experiencing life in general, please remember that you are always being supported with protection outside of yourself and supported to enact more protection for yourself as you go throughout your day. Okay. This, I'm actually getting a little bit more with the resistance coming through. I'm getting a little bit more of like a, a protection of the self, like maybe overprotective even. Um, with the resistance, there's the flow, the wind is blowing. And um, for whatever reason, you don't want to follow that flow. You want to go upwind, <laughs> wherever the wind is not taking you. Um, there is something about that kind of pursuit that, like, you're getting deeper into the weeds, okay, with that. Missing the mark. Well, what is the mark? He's a nice guy. <laughs> sure, I'm sure he is. Um... <laughs> <clears throat> mm. 
Mm, okay. Um, your resistance to something at this time is actually a form of protection. <laughs> Let this be, let this be a, a guide to point you in the right direction here. Wherever you're feeling resistance, if you can slow that down, break that down into your meditation time, try to dig a little bit deeper to find what it is that you're protecting. It feels like growth. This egg here, I mean, they're protecting this, this egg. Like there's a fear of growing in some way, either all the way, completely, everything to do with growth, or a specific kind of growth, where you've tried to participate in this in the past and it didn't necessarily go well, or there was pain that was inflicted. Whatever that, yeah, whatever that is, is the component that no matter what you do, okay, no matter what you do outside of that growth is always going to feel like it's not enough. And the reason for that is because it's the wrong, it's the wrong um, soul direction. Interesting. We have choice here. We can do whatever we want to do. I'm not saying that, you know, there are right or wrong choices even. I mean more the path that our soul intended us to tread, to experience certain things to grow. That egg, whatever that egg is symbolizing for you guys, it's time to, I don't know, that's where your freak flag is. Someone told you, nah, -uh. it's time to say, yaha, okay? <laughs> whatever that is, it's time to stop protecting that and allow that, quit resisting that component of yourself coming forward. And if it hurt none, do what you will, right? Okay. Okay, let's keep going into this. Anything else here? Animal spirits. Animal spirit energy. Then we'll get into some tarot messages. What's going on here for the collective? I'm curious about this egg. What is the egg? Deer. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So deer is um, divine feminine energy. This would also symbolize growth. It's, it's this energy of uh, peace, protection, calm, tranquility. That moment after there's been a birth where there is that protection that is lasting around the situation. Um, everything is in natural flow. So it feels, I mean, it could be something from childhood <clears throat> that you were told to repress and so you have, uh, but that egg in particular with the divine feminine energy, it, to me is just symbolizing with the shadow coming through here, the unconscious realm is always fertile and there's something, there's an egg that's been placed there in the unconscious realm and it's not that it's going to stop growing because that's where it's fertile. It's just out of your care or line of sight. And so it's not growing in, in the ways that it needs to or deserves to grow. So you're being asked to, to come back to this, to add some, some mother sweetness to that. Whatever that egg is for you guys. Okay. Any other Oracle cards here? Not for now. All right, let's get into your tarot messages. All right, spirit for the collective here, the new moon, I mean, full moon, excuse me, full moon in Aquarius. All messages are timeless, but I am recording this for the full moon. So what do we have going on here for the collective? And this is a general message, you guys. So please keep that in mind. If it is resonating with you, please let it resonate with you. You're very smart. Please use your head, heart and intuition to decipher which messages are for you or if the message is for you. It's okay to leave it behind if it's not. And feel free to check out any of my other videos, um, any other sign. We do have all signs in our chart. I encourage you to take a look. Okay. So let's get into this. What's going on? Mm. 
Two of Cups here in reverse on the bottom. So I do feel like there is a there is a resistance to some form of connection right now. And I feel like, especially in this this deck, there are two individuals that are holding hands and that divine energy is coming through both of them to fill this vessel. Um, it feels like there's... Like, because of this resistance, you're actually losing... <laughs> Uh, not that you're losing it, it's, it's you can gain it again, but you're being depleted of your own divine energy. Whatever this component is, the egg that's in the dark here, the dark egg, um, you may have been ignoring. Maybe you're not even aware that it's there. It's been placed there so long ago. But the longer that that sits there and isn't allowed to, to grow with intentional conditions the more that your divine energy, which is our ability to overcome human difficulty, that's what our divinity is, the more that you are disconnected from that. There's something about that egg, and the deer is divine feminine. There's something about that egg that is connecting you to your divinity. Okay, let's get, well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, so 10 of pentacles in reverse, six of cups in reverse. Eight of Swords in Reverse. All right. Temperance, High Priestess, and then Eight of Cups in Reverse. Interesting. Okay. Um, so to start, how the full moon is affecting you. Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. This definitely feels like it's a shake-up to... Shake up to your makeup for you to wake up. Okay. <laughs> your foundational support your community that provides you that kind of strength and stability where you feel safe or secure to spread your wings, to let your freak flag, flag fly. Oh my gosh. Freak flag fly. <laughs> to let your freak flag fly. Um, whatever is being shaken up or addressed for you guys here at this time, the intention is to help bring this into a more solid experience. Maybe you are feeling disconnected from your soul tribe right now or your community, those people who feed you and that you feed them as well. Can I get a little bit more information on the Ten of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Hangman comes out here. Um, yeah, so... This seems very intentional. You're being you're being given this opportunity here. Maybe there's a disconnect that's happening with your community so that you can see something. This egg. You can find this egg. <laughs> Go on this uh, Easter egg hunt, right? Interesting, too. Just with uh, Easter Ishtar being fertility. There's something in Easter. <laughs> there's something um, quite wonderful about this egg. Which is why we're moving heaven, heavens and stars, okay? This is really important, not just, not just for you. You letting your freak flag fly here, whatever this means, is beneficial not only for you, but also for the greater design here. We need you to find that egg. So if things are feeling halted or paused right now, lean into that with this full moon. I'm feeling like it's less about the action being taken that you're being requested to take right now is through awareness, through a perspective shift to see something different. Interesting. Okay. Um, what is being shaken up? Six of Cups in reverse. So, <laughs> um, this does feel like there's a lot of stuff from the past that is coming up. Like your whole, your whole past is being shaken up. Either your experience of it, like maybe you're becoming aware of how easy it is for memories to become um, persuaded or changed. Not even through somebody else's effect outside of us. For some of you, 
but it feels like, uh, well, yeah, it feels like the perspective of, of your memories. Like there were things you used to look back on and, and really feel good about. And right now, maybe it's not feeling good anymore, or you just don't want to think about it. Hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about that, please, Spirit? Six of Cups in reverse. In a different deck. Yeah, I can do that. Which one? Phantasma. Phantasma. Why the Six of Cups here in reverse, please, Spirit? Oh. So I'm here. Page of Pentacles. So Page of Pentacles here. I feel like Yeah, there's just this feeling of magic that's been lost. For some of you, um, maybe you enjoy writing and there's something like there's just this desire to do or experience what you've experienced before in the past what's brought you joy in the past is maybe not bringing you joy anymore you're being moved towards where there is a new possibility or a new journey new something to experience but this doesn't feel comfortable at all to you it don't feel comfortable um <clears throat> what is no longer of value to you keep going here Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like this is actually, I like this energy coming up, but it's no longer, you may not be aware that it doesn't have value to you anymore, but um, I feel like you're becoming aware of the lack of this energy and how good that is for you. Eight of Swords is a trap in the mind. It's feeling stuck, feeling like there isn't a way out of something. So as far as losing value, I feel like you guys are um, you're sick of your own bullshit. <laughs> Getting to a point where maybe the excuses or the reasons why, however you want to view that, um, things have been the way they've been in your life in the past. Um, there's something about that that's shifting. Because this is like a, this is a self-imposed trap. We're putting ourselves here. So being in reverse too, I definitely feel like there's this release. You guys are learning, like I said, the value in not participating with that energy or how easy it is to not engage with, with that in your life, to make things hard. This is definitely like shooting, shooting ourselves in the foot a bit. What else do we have here with the Eight of Swords in reverse, please, Spirit? Anything else? Three of Swords. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's two of Cups here again at the bottom. So this tells me, with that coming out, because um, you had the Two of Cups in reverse on the bottom when we were shuffling here. Three of Swords with the Eight of Swords here in reverse. What is no longer of value to you? Um, I feel this restriction based on some sort of heartbreak in the past. Could have been a breakup, loss of a job, loss of a dream, hmm? a need for a major career shift, a loss of a loved one, family dynamics falling apart, friends, friendships ending. This is loss and heartbreak. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like you guys are finding the value in not allowing that to become a trap for you. Having the two of cups here upright on the bottom there. That's the component I feel like that is restricting your ability to connect with people in the way that you desire or, or not, right? Uh, but showing up as your authentic self, letting that freak flag fly. It's time to heal that heartbreak. And, and you guys have your alarm set. You, you know it's also time to heal this heartbreak. Let's do it. Let's do it, collective, okay? So um, unexpected news here. Temperance. Interesting. Um, I kind of got the message here of a message with the Page of Pentacles coming through here, too, and the Six of Cups in reverse. Um, there may be a message. 
Mm, it feels more like an energy signature rather than somebody sending you a, a direct message here. And it is a message of of peace. Like, all, all you need, if peace is what you want, then take it. Mm. Like the olive branch is there. I feel like, interesting, hmm. There may be an opportunity for you or somebody you know um, in regards to you where there is like a level of forgiveness to something that is achievable at this time that may not have been achievable previous. I love that. Okay. Um, my temperance here, please, spirit. The other deck. Okay. Okay. Anything more on the um, unexpected news here, please? I mean, angel definitely comes through. Protection was something that was was coming through as well earlier. Like you don't need to protect all of this yourself. There's a degree, or there's a need to release um, control. Like I'm getting this feeling of constantly holding all of these pieces together within yourself and it's becoming exhausting it was always exhausting but now it's like so with the state of the world um there is a need for your authenticity always i feel like we're, we're just moving into that though so there's extra support here Surrounding you, uh, spelunking there, diving into that deeper realm to grab this egg. Anything else here? Oh, that's not even... <laughs> not even a tarot deck. That's not the one I wanted. Why temperance here, please, spirit. And unexpected news. The hermit, too. Five of swords here on the bottom. I feel like this has to do with... Um, like the hermit can definitely be isolation, solitude. This kind of feels like like a reconnection of sorts. And I don't know, I don't know if it's um, you know, someone's literally gonna be calling you up or sending you a text message, or you're going to be doing this for somebody too, for or if it's just energetic. But it's like there's a at least on an energy level, there's a conversation that's happening that's allowing this healing. That three of sword that which allows you out of this trap or wherever you're feeling stuck. It feels connected to that ache though again. Like in the past, every time you've connected with that energy of the egg, there's been some form of loss. And so you've made this connection that when that energy comes up or if I'm tapping into that energy, this means loss. And there's there's something about that where with the herm or the hangman coming through here too, there's something about that where you're being given an opportunity to see the truth in the matter. Like chaos is kind of what I'm feeling. There are times when things happen where it, it is actually not connected to anything that we've done necessarily. Um, but we can make false equ equivalents. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep going here. Um, I feel like there's something else on the unexpected news. Do you want an oracle card? No, another tarot card? Stack. Okay. Why the Hermit and Temperance and Unexpected News? What's coming forward here? Nine of Swords. The star here, the bottom two. Renewed hope. Yes, I do feel like it is a message of optimism. Being the full moon in Aquarius, too, is the star. Yeah, this is, this is your opportunity. Okay, something coming forward that is going to feel like did a bad thing like um and it, and it feels like that energy that's coming up like this egg whatever this is is wanting to come explore life with you 
but because of how it's come through in the past, how you've been treated or um, experienced it, it's caused this fear and anxiety. Like a cycle of, of a nightmare is going to be repeating. So this message that's coming forward, like I said, it feels energetic. Like you may even just wake up one day on, on the 19th there with the full moon um, and just be feeling some kind of way about something. Um, I feel like what is needed with the nine of swords here is to take courage. It's an opportunity to, to take courage, to face these things, to break the cycle in that way. You have to do this alone. Like this is your task to complete, but you're not alone. Your angels, your guides, you are being directed. You are being protected, not neglected. Okay. So it may feel like you're alone, but please know that you're not. Even in this experience, um, it is not a solitary experience. Whatever it is you're experiencing or have experienced, there are others who have also had that same experience. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Um, this I find really interesting. Let's move on to the door. 3131 here on the timer. Your door, so the threshold that you are at, working to cross through. I see this as like, like this door. You find yourself in front of a door. <laughs> the twilight zone. This is something that is coming up as an opportunity in this time um, because of choices that you have made or are making to allow this door to come up. It feels very much like I mean, that egg in and of itself could be a portal. Probably. Let's get into it. It feels like there's a major component to your heart that's connected to that. But the high priestess comes through. So this is your door. I love this being your door. Um, the doorway to um, everything in the subconscious realm, all knowledge and information that is available to us. Mm, I love that. This doorway, though, is protected guarded by the high priestess she knows everything but she's not always willing to part with her secrets and she knows that you must be ready to enter the realm of the unconscious that river that's behind her lest ye, you know run the risk of going crazy potentially so you guys are right on the precipice of gaining some pretty serious knowledge Uh, what is that knowledge? Talk to me more about the door here, please. Whoa. Okay, four of wands flew out here. Not these? No. No. Four of wands. That's <laughs> a crossing of a threshold. Um, this feels like a major mile marker in your soul's development here. It could be something that you've approached before in the past, like this threshold, but maybe you've slipped into that Eight of Swords energy. But for a lot of you, this feels like something you actually haven't approached yet. Because there's a need to have that egg with you. But there's a reason, there's a reason to celebrate behind this door. Like you've seen this door, interesting, you've seen this door in dreams even. You've gone to open this door, and when you open it, there's nothing behind it. I'm getting chills on that. This time, when this door approaches and you open it, there's something about your, like, I'm seeing the hand grasping the knob and acting as, like, a, a thumbprint scanner. There's something about your energy signature this time and opening this door where it's actually leading, leading to something. Anything else on that, please? 3434 34 on the timer, too. Where's this leading? To the moon. <laughs> you guys are taking a trip to the moon. So this doorway, I love this, with the high priestess and the moon here. What is behind this door? Um, it's absolutely this egg, whatever this is. This is the shadow realm here, too. That which you um, fear is actually that which you seek. Interesting. Ooh.
Ooh, yeah, all the chills on that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I do think um, I'm going to get here to the key. I do think I am going to do an extended here, you guys. So um, if you're interested after the these messages, there will be a link in the description of the video as well. You can check that out if you want to join me there on that journey. Um, let's keep going a little bit further here, though. So your key uh, to open this door that an energy signature that you're looking for. Eight of Cups in reverse here. You know, you know that there's something um, that you need to turn your back on, to walk away from. But you're not turning away from it at this time. It's interesting, like it's tied together with this fear and I feel like this fear is like shame is something that's coming up really really deep shame existential shame even which is just like feeling shameful because you're alive for everything that you do right existential shame tends to be um, trauma that's inflicted by things like religion organized religion not all and not everybody experiences that, but it is also real. So it's like, oh gosh, that's interesting. It's a lot of arrows moving around. Um, <laughs> that which you fear is that which you seek. I feel like you're kind of going around in circles here, getting to this door or getting the energy signature to open up the door. But every time you get close to it, there's a fear that pushes you away. I'll give you an example. I'll give you a personal example for me because I'm having a hard time describing it. Um, when I was three, fell out of a bunk bed, hit my head on a toy piano, and I spent a week and a half in the hospital. I didn't think I'd walk or talk. I had seizures. It was terrible. Traumatic brain injury. Since then, um, I have... Um, PTSD experiences around being dizzy. Being dizzy is a big, um, you know, being dizzy. There are many different ways to be dizzy. Um, but this one in particular, as I've learned, time's gone by, when I get into meditative states, when I start leaving my body, when I start, you know, moving into more shaman work, energy work, is when this dizzy feeling comes around. So my access point to everything that the high priestess is offering requires that energy signature of being dizzy, right? Momentarily or, or for the period of time that things are being accessed. Um, but the closer that I get to that key, the more fear comes up. Oh, this is interesting, you guys. I'm getting chills just to even talking about that too. That which you fear is actually what you seek. <laughs> maybe that maybe you are experiencing something similar to that. Maybe there's a fear surrounding the feelings you get when you meditate. So that's kind of what I mean. You know you need to leave something behind, but um, there's a struggle in in just letting that go. And I I can totally relate. It's difficult to just turn off that fear. Sometimes it's better than others, but anything else here on the eight of cups with the key, please. For collective. Or both. Ooh, the sun and ten of swords. Okay. To me, this feels like a pick your pick your path. Ten of swords there is something that is providing nothing for you but pain. The sun, this is brilliance, abundance, positivity. Being able to access the this um, vitality. This requires a conscious choice, though, to step away from whatever this Ten of Swords moment is. And this could be a lifelong moment, you know what I mean? Building up to something. 
it's this addiction to a negative quality that we may know is bad for us, but it's serving us in some way. What I'm getting is like the keys here through this door, they reside in somebody else's hands right now. And that makes it difficult for you to walk through these doors with ease. Yeah, it's time to take that back. There's whatever you're feeling most fearful about right now, you're being requested to like stretch the boundaries on where that may trigger you into fear. Sounds easy. That sounds super easy. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to close this off with an Oracle card. And then, like I said, I'm going to move into the extended version. You guys, if you want to join me there. So spirit, which, which Oracle card are we going to light seed star seed light seed tarot <laughs> star seed uh, for collective here spirit <laughs> straight to jail <laughs> right on the ground. <laughs> well 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 i love this you guys okay portal doors are opening you decide rewards wild card wow 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 wasn't i just saying that um that egg feels like a portal <laughs> i'm pretty sure i did i'll have to go back and watch this but um so closing closing this portion up you guys yeah this uh this time right now Full moon in Aquarius, whenever you're watching this. But full moon in Aquarius in particular, this portal, whatever this egg is, this is your wild card. This is your reward. Something that you've come into this life with a skill, a natural ability, a personalized way to express yourself. Yeah, it could be many different things. This is a reward for you. It's rewarding for you to step into this. And it's rewarding for others to see you step into this as well. This is totally the doorway though. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. And I feel like they're, you can't really see, but I feel like they're holding, like holding their hand up to their heart here. Your heart is the key. Hmm, interesting. The golden egg and the, the um, wild unknown animal deck is the heart chakra too. Okay. All right, you guys, this is where I'm going to leave it here. I'm excited to go into an extended. I like wanting to dive a little bit deeper here. If this is where I leave you, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, please don't stress if you can't get to the extended. I'd love to have you guys join me there, but please don't stress if you can't. Um, I do believe everything happens for a reason, so please know if this is where I leave you, you receive the message that you needed to receive. Um, and thanks for being here. Okay. I love, I love you. Thank you for your love and support as well. So um, I will see you all very soon. Okay. Whenever that is, have a great day, week, month, year, however long it is until I see you again. Okay. Take care of yourselves. Be well.